Today I'm going to share with you my secret weapon and give you a full tutorial on how to use it. And that secret weapon is Ecamm. Ecamm is what I use to go live. It's what I use to go live on Facebook. It's what I use to go live on YouTube because I love the flexibility that it gives me. It gives me the abilities to do overlays. So whenever I want some words to populate up here or an image or a video to start playing, I have that flexibility. Whenever I want to pull in some comments that are being made by you, I get to pull them on the screen with me. Whenever I want to change anything really of the production, it's like I have a full production team behind me, which I don't, <laughs> but it appears that way. So it presents incredibly well. I'm gonna show you how to use Ecamm Live and we're gonna start right now. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so what you're seeing right now is no accident. What you're seeing right now is me recording on the screen. This is what I actually see whenever I go live. You are only seeing this right here. So whenever I do just a full shot of myself speaking into the camera without doing the screen share, this is what you see. However, me, I on the back end, I see all of this. So let's start from left to right and then I'll get into the most important aspects of getting Ecamm working. Now, one quick disclaimer, Ecamm is linked down below and it is an affiliate link, so just so you're aware, but also Ecamm is something that is exclusive for Macs right now. So this is actually, I'm okay with that because I have a Mac, obviously. However, the equivalent in the competitor, I would say, is OBS. OBS is something that I used in the past whenever I had my PC and it worked fantastic. I absolutely loved OBS. It can be a little bit clunky sometimes, but there's so many resources that help you with OBS that it was very simple to do. Now, I tried to get OBS on my computer and with, on my Mac and really get it to work time and time again, but it just wouldn't. And whenever I found Ecamm Live, I thought, well, it's gonna be a huge learning curve, but I was incredibly surprised that it wasn't. I just downloaded it, popped it in, did the pro trial for 14 days, and then I ended up sticking with the, the paid plan. And here we are. It was incredibly easy to do. It was incredibly easy to use. I didn't have to learn any code. I didn't have to learn anything fancy. And it was so, I mean, it's a night and day comparison between OBS and Ecamm. So I just wanna give that quick shout out because this is something I use every single day. I, this is how I record. In fact, what you're seeing right now is recorded through OB, um, so OB, wow. Uh, this is being recorded through Ecamm where I have my external, um, my external battery, I guess, connected to my camera. And then I have this feeding into my, into my receiver over here. And I am recording straight into Ecamm. I don't have to pull out a little card and then, and then upload it. Everything, as soon as I press end on this recording, it's gonna, it's gonna populate in my files and we're off and running. Same thing with you're going live. Whenever I'm going live, all I have to do is go down here in the bottom, well, you're not gonna see it right now because I am recording. So as you can see here, I just have to hit finish and I'm through recording. But anyway, we're going down the, going down rabbit hole. So whenever you are going li live on the left-hand side, you see scenes. There's different scenes that you prepare up front. So these are something that you can prepare up front. So then you can just pop them in. So as you're talking about, hey, everybody, go follow me on Instagram and you click on that, Notice that I there wasn't too much trickery. I just clicked on it. I knew that this was coming up. I knew that I was gonna make my pitch to, hey, follow me on Instagram. So I continue going, I continue going. Now, I also have a little overlay over here where this is, gonna, this is a chat. So as the chat starts coming in, you're not gonna be able to see it because the, there's no, I'm not going live right now, so nobody's there to comment. But these are things that I frame up ahead of time. And whenever I'm going through a recording or doing a live stream whenever I go live, which right now is on Mondays and Fridays, I just have these right here. So I load these up and then I type this in. Let's just say I messed up and I wanted to relabel this. I would just say relabel, oops, save. But as you can see, there's different things that I can do with it. There's, um, there's already a collection that you can work off of and then different fonts, typeface, bold. You can make this larger if you want it, larger, smaller, doesn't matter. So I'll just leave it at that. You can drop a shadow, light glow, whatever it happens to be 
remove the background or add it. So that is very, that's something for you to check out and you can see right there, right? And then over here, you just get more and more of them. So from the scene standpoint, this is what's gonna be shown up here. And you can just add another scene very easy. So you can see right there, you label it and then it'll show up, right? And then you have these little folders so you can group things up if you know that Hey, these certain scenes I do on my Mondays and then these certain scenes I do on my Friday live streams. So you're able to organize yourself that way. It's very user friendly. And let's just say you messed up over here and you delete it. Boom, you delete that. Now, if you wanna make sure that nobody messes with these scenes that you make sure that you don't delete these accidentally, then you're gonna lock it. So right there, it's locked. It's gonna show up. All right, so then when it comes to overlays over here, this is where you start creating the overlays. This is something that you're building a scene. So let me just say over here, let's just say we start a brand new scene, just so you see. Brand new scene. All right, so I'm gonna hit play right here. So right now, this is a scene. This is me just in front of the camera. And what I wanna do is I wanna add a text overlay first text so I want this to show up right here so let's just put it over here on the right hand side and then I want an image whatever that happens to be I'm not gonna bother and look for an image but if I wanted if pretend I put an image right there and it's off and running so let's just say that this was gonna be my second text let's just say I wanted to put this right here that's it is a terrible scene. Of course, I wouldn't do this in real life, but just so you see what I'm talking about. So this is my scene right here. So I just created this new scene and these are the overlays that I placed. So when I click over here, they're gone because it's a different overlay. But when I go back here, there's what I just created. So these scenes are just like it sounds. It says act one or scene one, and then you get to build what you want on there. So as you saw on my Instagram one, I built this scene, I put my the little Instagram icon there, I put that and then I put my image so I know that whenever I cut to this scene, it shows up and I built it down here. So you see the text, you see the icon and then you see the image. That's how you start building these scenes. And you can do anything that you want. You can add a video. If you wanna play a video while people wait for your live stream to come on, you're able to do that. And then down here you have some sound effects. So you can go with the pause. This one, oh, my favorite. <laughs> so you can start doing some sound effects, which is pretty cool. And then over here on the camera effects, we're not gonna be able to do too much with it because we're recording right now. But you can see if you have a green screen, you pop that in. You can zoom in and zoom out. I don't wanna zoom in and zoom out right now because I it took me a while to get this working correctly in the sense of how I want it. And then the Brightness, you can increase the brightness, you can decrease it. So whatever settings you have on your camera or a webcam, if you happen to have it, and I look over here because I have a webcam. So as you can see here, I click on my webcam and I'm off and running, right? So this allows you to switch between angles if you want, switch, um, switch from camera to webcam or camera to another camera, wherever it's at, it's over there. So I have that flexibility, but you're able to adjust the temperature, the brightness, the gamma, and all that fun stuff. So you have different options. And over here, this is the comment section. So as you start commenting, if I go live on Facebook or if I go live on YouTube, you're able to see the comments and all you have to do is click on, on one of them and it's gonna show up here. They're gonna pull in the comments. So that is a huge benefit. And this is what I use again, this is what I use to go live on YouTube, go live on Facebook. Now, here's one important thing. If you're only, let me let me take off this Instagram thing, which go follow me on Instagram, that'd be awesome. If you're only gonna do live stream to YouTube, then you're not, then cover your ears. If you are only gonna do that on YouTube, then Ecamm is perfect, that's all you need. But if you're gonna do simulcast to YouTube and to Facebook, then what you're gonna need is something called Restream. And I'll link it down below and I have another tutorial on Restream altogether. Restream.io gives you the ability to simulcast. This will not do it alone. So you can go directly to YouTube if you only intend to go to YouTube or go directly to Facebook if you only intend to go to 
to Facebook, but if you want to go to both of them at the same time so they see you on your Facebook group or on your personal page, and then they also see you on YouTube so they can interact with you, then you do need to go through Restream. And I have a full tutorial on that. It is linked down below so you can check that out. But again, if you're going to just an individual platform, then you're good to go. All right, so just some things to remember. These are pretty self-explanatory as you saw. This is this is outside of the scenes and then adding a few overlays, adding a few images. There wasn't much startup time. So I'm gonna pull in, I'm gonna pull in this image right here. Uh, hopefully you can see it right. I'm gonna cover my face, I guess. So what you're seeing now is the preferences. So here I went to the preferences and then from left to right, there's not much. I'm just gonna show you, oops. I'm just gonna show you the preferences that I have so you see them. All right, so I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds. So one of the most important things that you're gonna look at is automatically hide comment overlays in 15, within 15 seconds. That's something that I have going on. From the account level, this is not very important. I, I'm on a month to month billing. From the stream, Right now, I can't change this because this is how I have it, but I have it on a high 1080. You can go 4K if your camera does 4K, then I encourage you to go 4K. And then the stream shape, so it's a wide, so I'm doing this for YouTube, so I do keep that wide. The frame rate is 30 frames per second. And then when it comes to the video, my default is the camera, so this is what you see right now. And then just all of the options, these are the default ones. I wouldn't necessarily mess with these because um, th they're pretty good. Now, the one thing that you absolutely want to do, especially if you have an external mic, which I do, this is a boom mic right here that gets fed into my focus, right? You want to test your audio. You absolutely, and I need to really stress this, you absolutely want to stress your, uh, test your audio because if you have an external mic, there's going to be a delay. So how you split test that or how you test that is when you make a sound, it, you're gonna do a huge clap. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's gonna do the audio, but you wanna clap extremely hard so then you can match it to whenever you record it. So you're gonna record one file and then you're gonna clap and you're gonna take the recording, you're gonna go to your editor, whether you do Final Cut or you do Premiere or you do the free versions like GarageBand, whatever it is, whatever your software is, you're gonna go and you're gonna see the hand when it touches and you should be hearing the clap. Now, if you hear the clap when your hands are still here, then you know that you need to sync it. So as you can see here, my mic delay is by five seconds, by five claps. So it's these are frames. So these are frames. I, I said seconds, sorry. These are frames. So whenever I'm on Final Cut Pro and I see that I put, you know, the hands are together and I don't hear a clap until five frames later, then I know that I need to adjust it. So that's how you do it. So it'll take a couple of tr tries. You're going to... It took me about three different recordings just till I got this right. So now when I'm speaking, you don't see a delay. Now, if I hadn't done this, then I'd be speaking and then my mouth would be moving and then I stopped speaking and it's still going. So make sure that you do that. Make sure, again, I cannot stress this enough, make sure that you sync your audio, especially if it's an external. And then interview, I don't do too many interviews here, but you can, whoops but you can send people to your guest room or to your green room and then bring them in whenever you're ready for them. Screen sharing, I do this plenty. <laughs> I do this plenty, so I made this little, as you can see here, I made this a little bit larger because I want people to see it. And I want the higher quality right here. And then include desktop picture. Uh, where is it? Okay, so include desktop icons. So right now you don't see on the background, you don't see my icons doesn't mean that they're not there. It just means that I'm not showing them to you. So if I were to click that, the icons would come back. This way, you don't have to clean up your desktop. You don't have to delete those. And you're also not sharing sensitive information whenever you share your desktop. So that's pre been pretty cool. Now, Facebook, I don't have this connected because I don't go directly to Facebook from here. I go through Restream. Periscope, I've never done a Periscope. YouTube, same thing. I haven't gone through this directly to YouTube, I use Restream because I go to both of them. So these are the settings that I would encourage you to get going. The rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. I just wanted to make sure that you were aware of 
what I'm using, which is Ecamm, how super friendly it is. If you have a Mac, then I highly, highly encourage it. Don't forget to set up your scenes ahead of time. You can create them on the fly, but it doesn't work as well. But then also, you wanna make sure, the most important thing is you wanna make sure that your audio is synced up to whenever you're going live. Now, one last thing that I'll show you right here is if you wanted to play a video, if you will, all you have to do is click over here and it would ask you which video to play and it'll start playing a video. Now, if you wanted to switch between camera angles, you kind of already saw that where over here I have my webcam, over here you have uh, me, but then if I wanted to do my screen share, so this is one of the questions that I get all the time, how do I do the screen share? Well, right now I'm only here, right here with you, and then if I wanted to do the screen share, I would click over here and it would screen share. Now, if I wanted to populate my face in the frame, I would just click over here and then I, I'm right there. So if I don't want to be in the frame, I, I leave, <laughs> but then I come back, right? So then I go back over here and we're going. So this is really so super freaking simple that I'm very excited that I found it. Very thankful for Ecamm. They're not sponsoring this video. I just really like it. I really like the software. It's a lot of years ahead of OBS and what OBS has for Mac. So I'm very thankful. If you're interested in checking out Ecamm, it's linked down below. And go out there and go live.